Hi hey guys, it's Rumi the Math Person, and today I'll be going over the accepted value and variance of a uniform distribution. So, what is a uniform distribution? So, <laughs> on any random interval a to b, there is there a um, equal probability of being chosen. Everything has an equal probability of being chosen, and we also know that all probability has to add up to one. This is f of x. So that means this area has to add up to 1, right? So even though we don't know the height, we'll just call it height. The height times the base, because this is a rectangle, height times base, which is our base is b minus a, has to add up to 1. That means our height is equal to 1 over b minus a. 1 over b minus a. And this is actually a probability distribution as well. Oops, here we go. Okay. And what are we trying to find? Oh, the expected value. Let me actually get more space. So our expected value is actually pretty um, intuitive because the expected value of a uniform distribution is just that center, right? But we'll just, so this is going to be equal to a plus b over 2. But we'll go ahead and drive it. We, all, we, we know that the expected value of any probability distribution is just equal to all x, x times f of x dx. So we'll just use that. So the value of x is equal to our x interval goes from a to b. Um, x is just x, and then our probability distribution is 1 over b minus a dx. So, and then 1 over b minus a is actually a constant, so we can throw that out. And we can just take the integral of x, which is just x squared over 2, a and b integrated from a and b and i'm actually going to take that two out as well because i'm not i don't really like everything kind of cluttered and then i'm going to plug in b as my upper limit that's b squared and then a as my lower limit a squared so this can actually be simplified to a plus oh yeah a plus b or, or i might just do it this way b minus a b plus a do you see it? Because if I multiply using FOIL, first b squared minus ab, or plus ab, minus ab, min plus, minus a squared. So these two cancel out, it's b squared minus a squared. Agree, agree? Okay. Because of that, we can actually simplify this to b minus a, b minus a, b plus a and you probably see why i did that right because then these b minus a's will cancel out and you get that b plus a over 2 is your expected value hey isn't that what we just got except mine's a plus b but you know it's, it's the same thing and our second thing we wanted to find today was our variance formula okay well variance we know is it's the same is our e x squared minus e of x the whole thing squared okay we got this we got this it's gonna take a little bit longer but we still got this well we know that e of x squared is the same thing right but instead of x here we're gonna have an x squared yes yes following following and as always i'm gonna just take that constant out you know you know me i'm not the best at math i don't know why i have a youtube channel but it's going to be x cubed one third integrated from a to b so that's going to be 1 over b minus a times 3. And this is going from b cubed minus a cubed. We want to try to make it so we, the bottom and the numerator and denominator cancels. So I'm actually going to factor out a b minus a from the numerator. And then what would then we would have a um, quadratic formula left. So what would that be? Well, we know that it has to end, um, start with b squared and end with a squared. I just don't know what's in the middle. And actually, it's going to be a positive a squared. Yeah, yeah. Because it's going to be b squared, blah, 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 blah. And it has to be, if, it want, if we want it to end with negative a cubed, it has to be negative a cubed. Okay, so anyways, we just want to see what's in the middle. Well, we know that we don't want any terms in here. And we already know we have a... Um, negative a b squared so that means the inside has to be a b so when it multiplies with the b it's going to cancel negative a b squared and plus a b squared okay and this is all over 3 b minus a 
And then again, you can see the b minus a cancel out. So you get that the ex squared equals b squared plus ab plus a squared over 3. Alrighty, alrighty. So now to what we're actually looking for. We're actually looking for a variance, which is this um, ex squared, our second moment, minus our expectation squared and our expectations right here. So that's b plus a over 2 squared, the whole thing squared. Alright, okay. oh gosh, this is a lot of work. But it's okay. We got this, we got this. I'm right there with you. So this is b squared. Uh, I'll just distribute minus 2a b uh, minus a squared. <laughs> Agree? See, I wish this was like live so then you can catch my real little arithmetic errors because I make a lot of those. And I have to find common denominators, so this I'm gonna multiply this whole factor by four and then this whole thing by three. So this is equal to four b squared plus four a b plus four a squared over twelve minus three b squared. Ooh, should I distribute the negative sign now or later? Oh I, I think I already distributed the negative sign once. Here we go. Plus, see, I make a lot of arithmetic, arithmetic errors, so this, this should be negative here. Yeah, I think so. So this is negative three b's. Actually, we can make it all over twelve. Isn't that the point? Minus three b squared minus six a b minus three a squared. Okay. Then we know that four b squared minus three b squared is just b squared. 4a squared minus 3a squared is just a squared, and 4ab minus 6ab is 2ab over 12. Okay, well, we also know that this is just a perf this is a perfect square, right? This is equal to if I multiply this out, a minus b, a minus b, we get a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So this is actually just equal to a minus b squared over 12. So there you have it. That's your variance. Again, if you have any questions or um, concerns, feel free to let me know. If you want me to explain more, let me know in the comments as well. Otherwise, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!